Last time I did a ranking of all my Lazada purchases from 2021, which were specifically reserved for home products. Now I'm gonna give you a review of everything else that I've purchased that's not consumable. So if they're dog treats or whatever, not gonna review it. But anything related to tech or pets, these are the things that are going inside. Cause dog treats are just, they're too much. They're too many. But I'm gonna be doing a tier list. For those of you who don't know what tier listing is, it's basically a ranking system from A to D. And you can also create different fun little sentences that go with the ranking. A being the best, D being bad. Now I'm not giving any Fs, specifically because I feel like anytime someone puts something out, it's effort, all right? So no one gets a fail. If they don't submit any work, that's a fail. But if they tried, then you get a D. S is the top, okay? And we are going to start ranking these items. Let's go with the first item. This is an interactive reward toy dog tennis ball automatic thrower food treat dispenser. Price of it was 1,569. I bought it and it was meant to kind of like give out food and treats every time the dog, it's like a little dispenser. You put your ball in there and then it dispenses the ball, tennis ball out, and then it gives them a treat to reward them every time they put it back in. But it's so useless, I give it a D. We tried to put the ball in, it only just like rolls out. It doesn't shoot out. I mean, I would give it an F, but they, you know, they fooled me. Fooled me. Gets a D for fooling me and making me pay 1,569. In the picture, you can see that it's shooting out the image and then it's shooting out the treats, but they fooled me. We're starting in rough with the D. Next is my Dyson Corral straightener. I actually gave in to purchasing the Dyson Corral. It was 26,560 from the purchase. I would give it an A because it works really well. Now, the reason why it doesn't get an S is because the battery system is pretty weird. Like even if you connect it to the wire, it doesn't allow you to use it. If it's like almost about to even though you have it plugged, even though it's about to like diminish or the battery is completely gone, it still won't let you use it. And that's the most frustrating thing because I have super thick hair. So I need triple the time to straighten my hair. And um, it works very well and it doesn't like burn the hair. I don't smell any burns. It's good. It does what you pay for. You pay an exorbitant amount. Also, I'm giving an A because it's so expensive. I mean, for a good reason, because of design technology, it takes time. I appreciate people that take the time to do designs and even though it's wireless, the wireless doesn't work after 30 minutes of good use or an hour. I would say 45 minutes at most if it's fully charged. That's my only drawback, it gets an A for me. Dyson does its job, it just, um, that's one flaw, but it is the first product that they came out with, so they're probably gonna do upgrades and improvements based from customer feedback. And plus there's like an adjustable temperature. The original, uh, I had a GHD, which was only set to one temperature. And sometimes it, you can smell the burn on your hair and it's not necessarily good if that happens. Next is the Oclean X Pro. I actually had, was sent the Oclean X, but there's a pro version of it. This is priced at 3,346. You know, prices do fluctuate actually on Lazada. So you'll have to check how much it costs at that time. But um, because there's an 1111 sales, you should take the chance because this is going into the S tier. It's so good. There's a touchscreen module. It works really well. Both Pat and I have it. And it is very unique in that there's swipe features that can time the amount of uh, how long you can, uh, how long you should be brushing your teeth, the pressure, and it tells you which part you um, brush more or what you're missing. And also it gives you a bunch of different analysis and like it has a timer and a lot of things for the touchscreen. And I've used it for a long period of time and it's just as good and I love it. I have a purple version, Pat has a blue and we like it. Pat, you like it, right? Yeah. So I'll show you how it looks. Any S tier product is going to get a video. Next is my mini refrigerator beauty fridge, 8L. All right, so I would give this a B 
first of all, it's too small. Second of all, um, water comes out, but I still like storing it anyways. I like to keep my products cool because it does feel, feel very refreshing when I apply the product. So I would say that it works very well. It just sometimes leaks and you'll have to like clean up the residue of water that comes out. It doesn't leak out of the fridge, but it stays within. It's kind of small for me. It, I paid 2000 for it, I actually sold it. And my, I got an upgrade to the Bello Beauty fridge. Now the Bello fridge, what a positive is that actually the water doesn't leak and there are different sections for it. I would want a bigger version of the Bello fridge because I feel like I could do more with it, but this one works really well because there are no leaks and they're different partitions and I would recommend that. And it's also really cute in terms of the design. So I would give this fridge a B because of how small it is, but you do know the size that you are getting. So it's not like, oh my gosh, that's actually a big problem because the actual problem that makes it a B is the leaking of the water. My next purchase is a Nimbot. This is one of the best purchases of 2021. It's a labeler and I love it. This is going into S tier. And I'm also gonna put in the transparent thermal paper in it. I use it to label my products. Whenever I get new things, I label it. It has an app that accompanies with the label and the ability to like customize the label is so good and makes it super easy well the app works sometimes you have a product and the app doesn't work or sync so well but the nimbot syncs really fast by a bluetooth and then you can adjust the different sizes text and everything for the label and it prints really fast you can print multiple even like i would say that it would work for businesses like i think it works very very well next item is the original vacuum electric foot grinder. And this is going to go into an A for me. I have problems in my heel. They often get cracked, but I have found because of my friend who is a podiatrist. So she actually recommended that I use pumice. And this one is an electric foot grinder, which has a pumice and basically it like really smoothens your heel and then what I do after is I, I put CeraVe lotion let me feel my heel now it's good and the only drawback of this is it's only actually 200 pesos and it works very very well I hate the design of it I don't think they have time to customize the design otherwise it would cost more it's not like a Dyson where they have time to develop that which is why it costs 20,000 but this is getting an A because it worked well for me it is powered by battery and also powered by USB plug so whatever floats your boat next product that I am going to give a review for is the Midgecon mini electric food chopper blender this is also really great and this is going to get an s tier for me i think the design is cute and it's a mini food chopper and it works especially great when i want to chop garlic or red onions for guacamole or i want to make aglio olio for pasta it's 480 pesos it's totally worth it and the design is really easy and functional it's easy to wash i would say it's on the s tier for me three S tiers. Wow. Okay. Next is three piece washable male dog belly band wrap waterproof pet diaper toilet training dog. Wow. Some of these titles are so long because I guess they want to get in every keyword possible. This is going to get an S for me because they have really nice colors and it works for my dog. They're different sizes for different dogs and I've brought my dog out with the diaper and it hasn't leaked and it works very well. It's washable, that's a plus because I didn't want to use a diaper that I could just throw away but these ones are washable and my dog was in it the whole day and he was fine and he peed and it didn't stain or anything so this is gonna get an S here for me. I would recommend this product. I think I'm more careful now with purchasing Lazada products after the whole tennis ball fiasco. Uh, I just make sure I read the description. I make sure that it's on Lazmal. Uh, I always buy during the 10, 10, 11, 11, all those sales because they are marked at a lower price. You get free shipping. There's so many benefits. And I'll talk about that again some more. 
Next is the Lucky HR Xiaomi Tonu Auto Sealing Trash Bin. Now I actually purchased this last year and I purchased another one for another room and it is so good. It is 3,199, it's totally worth it for me. This is going into S here because I totally recommend this trash can. It is self-sealing. So for example, if you are done, you all need to press a button and then it self-seals for you. You don't need to like wrap it around. You don't need to put in a new plastic bag. It just creates a new plastic bag so that everything is clean, nothing leaks, nothing drops. You just need to buy a new refillable thing. And I haven't needed to buy a new refillable trash bag thing for a while. I bought the refillable stuff. I haven't had to use it yet. And it's more than a year because the one in my bathroom I've had for two years, I think, or a year and a half. And it is infrared. And the great thing about it is that it's not battery powered. It is USB powered so that you can actually use a USB to recharge it and you can also plug it in if you don't want to like risk it losing battery and stuff so either way works and i definitely definitely recommend it it's super good next is the andor portable smartphone teleprompter and this was introduced to me by one of the teachers at school he does all the videos and stuff and he had it when we were doing a video and we were presenting and we didn't need to memorize our lines because all we needed to do was put our phone and the text would roll down. There's an app for it. And then it was like a teleprompter. So you could read your lines and the video is in line with where the teleprompter is and it works very well. This is 1,437. I do think it's a little bit pricey for something like this. It's not like it's tech-based or anything. I think that it could be cheaper. It could be like around 500 and it could still work, but I guess there's glass. I would give it a B. I think that it works well. I'm just not happy with the price. You can put your phone in there and adapts and I think that it works very well. Moving on to the next product, dry cabinets. I have one for tech. I have two for personal items, board games, memorabilia, photo albums. So far, they've worked really well. They've kept everything in check. There's not a lot of dust goes in. The only drawback is the aesthetic. It's just, I feel like it should just be completely clear and not black. It's just so many obstructions of in view, but I really like it. I think it works very well. I haven't had any issues with it and it is running smoothly and all my files are in excellent condition. So I would say this is an S for me. Next product that I'm going to review is the Sony ZV-1. Actually, I'll do um, an 1111 11 and 1010 10 purchase because I've done like a whole tier list of all the things and I think to wrap it up, wrap up 2021, I think that it would be good to do a tier list of my 1010 10 and 1111 purchases. This is part of my 1010 10 purchases, but so far I'm really loving it. I love how lightweight it is. It's definitely great for vlogging. The camera quality is really good. I bought rechargeable batteries for it, so I'm giving it also an S. And the reason behind me giving it an S is because I also think that it is credit to doing prior research to it. So I think that one of the benefits of purchasing on Lazada is having all the background information you need. There's like details about the product. It tells you about the sizing and everything. If you get tricked or anything, you are more prone to getting a refund. So make sure you do check up and make sure you do read the information correctly before you purchase. Cause if you re read it incorrectly, that's on you. But there are so many benefits about purchasing on 11, 11, 10, 10, all those times, especially now 11, 11 and 12, 12 are like the major big dates for purchasing. There's so many different product features that are included. So for example, it is the biggest one day sale on November 11 and you can enjoy the lowest prices and free shipping with zero peso minimum spend. So like you could buy anything that you want. I think that's the best day to like add to cart, add to cart. Anything that you watch here, you can add to cart. All the links are in the description down below. And you can also have bonus discounts of up to 50 pesos for every 500 peso spend. 1111 is obviously happening on November 11 and you can enjoy the lowest prices and it is honestly the best time to purchase things. Like I always see that the prices drop and brands are giving the best deals at that time. So you can always wait 
for your purchases and get it on the biggest sale date. Anyways, let's continue the video. So I think that it's credit to actually doing my proper research before purchasing. So I'm very, very happy with it. It comes with a mic and it's very portable. It's easy to bring around. I think a lot of my tech stuff, I'm giving it an S only because like, because they are priced higher, I am more prone to do more of that research and I'm more ready. So I'm happier with the products that I'm getting on like the home products. I had lower rankings for those. And that's because sometimes you can't really tell because over time, maybe it doesn't work so well. So I think a lot of the electronics that I'm featuring today are getting S tiers and that's because of the comments. And I also like reading comments and reviews. Next product that I'm also going to review is the Joby 150 Gorilla Pod. I actually gave in to that. It is a mini tripod for vlogging and it is great and is highly recommended online everywhere. It's like one of the top two things to get if you are a vlogger. And it's because of how easy it is to bend and it's flexible in all locations and it's malleable, but also it has structure. So it is really great for you to um, move your camera around. And even if you angle it at something, you won't have any difficulty doing so. I have always not wanted to purchase this only because I feel like it's ugly, but I ended up getting it. So I would give this an A just because I think it's still really ugly, but it works very well. Aesthetic is just as important to me. So that's a drawback for the Joe B. The Joe B. Tito Joe B. Next is my Rode Wireless Go 2. I actually have a Rode Wireless Go and that's only for a singular wireless mic. These mics are especially great because they work very well. Like you don't need to and they connect really easily. I think the Rode mics also sound very good. I purchased a Rode wireless mic too, only because um, if I wanna interview someone or if I wanna to talk to somebody, I don't need to give them the mic. And that was one of the difficulties when I would feature somebody in my video and I'd have to pass them off the mic. This one is very good. I would recommend this out of all the wireless mics so far, lapels and stuff. There's so many wires, so difficult. If you are wanting something super easy, this is the wireless mic that you need to use. This is also gonna give an S. It works very well, it's easy to use, it's straightforward. One of the things about tech is that you need to make sure that it is easy to use and also just intuitive. You know when a tech product is good when it's just intuitive, like it just, you just get it. You just get it though. Throw in a lot of S's there. But as again, as I said, I've been doing my research before buying these because they're like 16,000, 20,000. It's not like I'm just gonna like randomly throw my money like that. I do wanna read those reviews. Next review is my Panasonic Enelo Pro BK rechargeable battery. Now these ones, I have the AAA and the AA. Those are two different sizes of batteries. Now, some different tech products, the issue with them is that they run with, with batteries. And I don't like using batteries only because it's hard to recycle. Like it's frustrating to recycle. With these, you can actually recharge them and reuse it. And they last for a very, very long time. You won't have any issues with like running it and they are very good. So if ever you do want to get batteries, I would recommend these because in the long run, you'll probably have to purchase the same amount of batteries that will cost the same. This is around 980 for a pack of four. I would give this an S tier as well because it works so well. A lot of the stuff that I'm doing and a lot of the stuff I've purchased, I thought about it for quite some time. So this is an S tier for me. Next, but this is the Tylex USB plug. This is a quick charger. I have about six of these around the house and they work, they're super cheap. They're 289 pesos and it's USB plug. It charges my iPhone, it charges everything. It's super fast. I like it. It looks sleek, easy to use, intuitive. I would say that the price point is excellent. So it's gonna get an S tier for me. Now that leaves me with so many S tier products and one D product. One product that I'm forgetting is my pet playpen. This is a great product. It's a great cage. I would highly recommend it. The setup is nice. It's a reasonable priced fence. I'll give it an S because it works very well. I'm so nice today. 
And the next thing is a pet kit all season pet bed. This is a pet bed. This is actually quite expensive and I would give it a B because of the pricing. Like it's a bed. Like I think that it should be cheaper. Although it's supposed to be like a cooling, there's supposed to be tech behind it. I think it's really overpriced for the bed. So I'm not actually that nice today. No, I am. I'm being very nice compared to the home product stuff. So those are the last two products that I have purchased for 2021. I have a lot of tech and I have given a lot of S tier ratings. And I hope that encouraged you to look into some of these things if it piques your interest. But that's pretty much it. Don't forget that the Lazada sale is happening on 11.11 and it is the one of the biggest sales of all time. And I do recommend that you go ahead and add to cart to anything that you wanna purchase. Lazada is really convenient. I haven't purchased anything like in person in a very, very long time. We've been in a pandemic and I don't think I'm gonna revert back to like old habits. Online shopping is a thing and it works very well. And what's great is that during these sales, it's free shipping and you get free vouchers. So why would I pay extra parking money just to go buy one thing when I can all just come to me? I mean, I get the experience and joy, but sometimes I think that maybe those are reserved for more luxury items, but something like this, you could do your research online, you can look at it and online, there's so many reviews for you to look at. People leave comments on the Lazada thing. It's totally legit now and they are very fast, especially for electronic products that are pricier. It comes in the next day very fast. So it's a guarantee guys. And that is it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed my video. And, and if you have any questions, do leave in the comment section down below. And I will be doing another tier list video of my 11, 11 and 10, 10 purchases. Let me know what you would like to see and I'll see you guys in the next video.